Greetings, mortals. I am your humble host, Epic Jason speaking. Just wanted to... Uh, even though this is a video recording, uh, just treat it like it's a uh, audio... <coughs> excuse me, audio recording. So, here's the update, folks, because I feel like I, I owe you guys a deep apology for not having any new content. Um... <sighs> Recently, things have just been out of whack. I've been dealing with knee pain, which has been just taking a good chunk of my time and trying to heal. And um, uh, I haven't really been on the computer as much. So uh, recently, I tried to order a brand new chair. Um, and... Uh, originally, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but it got delayed. And then it was delivered today. And then once I got it, um, and this is this is something that really, really pissed me off, is the underneath there was a metal, uh, a metal piece that kept the bottom of the cushion of the main chair intact. For whatever reason, that piece broke off. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is a brand new chair, recliner type of chair that costs like $316 in total. Including tax, because, of course, everything needs to be taxed nowadays, including websites. Yeah, as if they need to nickel and dime us to death. Which is fucking retarded, if you ask me. So, anywho, so, I call the company up, and thankfully they're going to send me another replacement chair. Free of charge. And if this one doesn't work, then, um, then they'll issue us, they'll issue us a free refund. But here's the thing. I've been trying to find, uh, recliner chairs for the computer. Uh, the initial chair that I was originally going to go with was, a, it was going to be a really nice recliner, had a seat that, that you, you press the thing, it, it goes up. And it even had uh, cup holsters on, on both sides. My folks kept having an argument with me about it. And I, they kept trying to find a replacement. And I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to find chairs that doesn't have the uh, star uh, pattern with the detached wheels. Because I've had chairs like that before and they always broke. Uh, they can never seem to support my weight, and they, they always seem to be built, like, they're, they're cheap, and, and they fall off too easily, and you would, we would have to go out of our way to, to get a, um, a clear, uh, you know, thing underneath, which, we had one at one point, and it could never stay still, and it's just, it's all... Anyway, so I'm not looking for any more of those types of chairs. Uh, another reason I've been, you know, hesitant in doing anything on the computer is because the only chair I have to work with is a very, very old um, brown folding chair. Like, like the, the type of chairs that you would get when you have guests over at like a, like a party and you don't have enough seats. You know, those metal fold-out chairs were, that, that you would have for, for picnics and, and that sort of thing. So, that's all I have to work with. And sitting on that is very uncomfortable after a while. So, I, so I'm trying to find a chair I can sit on that has a round, if not colander-shaped base where it can, you know, stay still and, and be stable. So, it's unfortunate that now I have this piece of crap that I can't put together. And, 
you know, another pet peeve of mine is that the box was in was not really in the best of shape, and I always seem to have delivery issues uh, from FedEx. I don't know what the fuck is up with FedEx and why they always feel the need to always deliver things. It's such a piss poor job, and I mean I've had issues with FedEx before. This isn't the first time, because I remember one time uh, when I was living up in the apartment complex. Uh, the second apartment complex I lived at when I was in Maryland, uh, when I was still living in Frederick and I was living at, uh, I call, I keep calling them the, uh, the PC apartments, AKA the Potomac correctness apartments, but they're the, uh, technically speaking, they were the Potomac commons apartment complex in Frederick, Maryland. That was like right down the street from, uh, the Heatheridge middle school, high school. So anyway, um, you know, they, I, FedEx even tried to deliver a bookcase shelf and instead of taking it up to my front door, they, they had it at the bottom of the stairs. <sighs> you know what I don't like? I don't like, I don't like it when, when companies nowadays don't hold, uh, shipping companies accountable for the way that they handle their products. And companies, like, stores don't seem to offer that many uh, insurance. So, I mean, why not hold the shipping companies accountable? I mean, first of all, they're dealing with your products that you're, you're trying to, to hand over to the customers. We go out of our way to buy this, th this fucking crap, and yet they can't seem to have any level of quality control or deliver it without the damn things breaking. I mean, how would, I mean, God damn it, UPS, FedEx, uh, USPS, how would you like it? I mean, let, let's put you in our position, God damn it. How would you like it if you had someone deliver stuff to your house and you, and it's always coming back in broken pieces and boxes that are not, and, and, uh, that are always in bad shape or, or things just falling apart or it feels like that, that they weren't handled too well on, on, on the truck or, you know, something that's banged up or is dented. You know, like, well, did you, did, I, I hate, how would you feel if, if you were constantly handled like, crap like this? I mean, this is a expensive fucking chair that we're talking about. A, a $316 chair. And they can't make sure to, A, make, uh, make sure that the box is in good shape. Make sure that the thing is delivered without any problems. I mean, in 2023, you would, this is ridiculous. There really needs to be. Uh, a, a stronger push for quality control because if every goddamn thing has to be purchased online now and if everything has to be overpriced, then you better make damn sure that the stuff that you're selling is actually in good quality and that you're actually going to take care of your customers because I am so sick and tired. I mean, this is going to be another rant I'm going to have to do at some point because I, I need to put it out there into the public. I am so fucking sick and tired of retail chains screwing with the customers and, and never having a good quality control. I, I mean, th that's why I don't shop at Amazon anymore, nor do I ever shop at Walmart anymore. Like, I'm not putting my money in the hands of incompetent bastards who don't care about their customers, who don't care about the quality of, of their business. You know... You think that, especially with, like, fast food chains, that's not going to be another uh, rant I'm going to do at some point. You know, and, and their lack of, uh, you know, of, of chicken tenders at McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King. You know, KFC getting rid of the uh, potato wedges. Even the um, chilies, you know, making the dumb mistake of getting rid of their original crispers, which backlash badly. And, I mean, I, I don't blame the customers for it. I mean, they would know that, you know, that maybe they made a bad decision and they maybe they should they should fix it rather than doubling down on it. It just pisses me off that they don't seem to get that maybe you should cater to your customers and keep them happy and not alienate towards them. You know, not do what Dizzy and Warner Brothers is currently doing, which is, you know, 
Yeah, yeah, keep alienating and pissing off your fan base. Yeah, that that works wonders for you. That's that's why you're not making any money, huh? Ugh. And of course, you can't really trust the Better Business Bureau. I mean, let, let's let's face it, folks. The Better Business Bureau is basically in the, the same way of, of dealing with with. I mean, they're no more effective than, than talking to a therapist. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm sorry to go off on a, on a uh, side tangent here, but this is, I mean, this is going to be an update slash rant video, so it's a mixture of the two. So, I'm breaking, I mean, I'm, I guess I am breaking new ground by doing both a, a, an update video and a, and a rant video at the same time, but it's because of the knee pain and because of the chair situation, why I have not had any new content as of late, I deeply apologize. But hey, I mean, I've I posted over eight hundred and fifty videos in under two years. I now is a good opportunity for you guys to. I mean, if you appreciate and like my content, then. Please, please, please go back and rewatch some of the older stuff. Maybe there might be something you've missed. Who knows? There, I, you know, I posted so many music videos and comedy videos. You know, like they're still worth watching. I mean, I don't make money for anything I do on this channel. It's just for pure entertainment. So, I, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get a thousand videos by this year. Which, man, wouldn't that be an accomplishment? But. You know, I can only do so much with, with what I have, and uh, I don't really have the best uh, editing equipment in the entire world. I mean, everything is so basic, but kind of limited at the same time. So, <sighs> once I get this whole chair, I, mean, I promise you guys, um, once I get this chair situation resolved, I will go back on my computer and try to uh, record some more gameplay footage. Um, but I deeply appreciate you guys for your patience, for your continued support. And like I said, I, I, would, I, I would recommend to my subscribers, please, uh, if you like my content, check out my older stuff. There's, there's plenty of stuff to, to look at. There's no shortage of videos that I posted and, and, uh, again, like, how many people can you think of that posted almost uh, 900 videos in under two years? I mean, that's a lot within a very specific amount of time. And there, there's a lot of stuff on there on my channel that I posted that I sp spent a, hot, a lot of hard time and effort uh, working on. So I would appreciate you, you folks if you can, you know, just uh, check out my other stuff. You know, like, not everything needs to be brand new. So, but, yeah, like, everything right now has been, has, I mean, this month for me has been pretty shitty as it is. And, uh, I've, you know, I I also got one of the three uh, most difficult months for me to get through around the corner, which is February. Uh, I'll... I'm going to try to do more vlog videos uh, in the future um, because there are stuff I like to talk about. Like, why is February, uh, April, and J July the most difficult months for me to get through? Like, well, I have reasons, and they're, they're all... <sighs> they all have... Uh, they all have things that, that have basically, you know, shaped some of the... A negative way I look at things sometimes. You know, they're just personal issues that, that have... <laughs> that I can't really just ignore. But... Anyway, uh, so... This is my update slash rant video. Uh, again, I, I deeply appreciate uh, your, your patience. Um, at least I've been posting some... Uh, some uh, pictures of my artwork that I've been working on, or fan art, um, on the community page. Uh, so, I, in some ways, I am still posting stuff, just not videos. 
But, uh, again, like, uh, f uh, this is going to be a slow period, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get over some of my fr uh, frustrations, and, and, because, uh, I mean, again, it's not fun to be stuck in the same situation for a long time, and when, 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 when you're forced to deal with knee, with knee pain, and you're stuck in your apartment for, for over a week, uh, you do, you do tend to develop, um, a sense of cabin fever, which, especially in an isolated environment, is, uh, thankfully tomorrow I will, I'll be going out and getting some, some, uh, groceries and lunch, which, which will be good. Um, I mean, I guess I can try to use some more, like, um, videos, recorded videos for my channel. I mean, I mean... I can at least try to get out something, uh, that's different, uh, and, uh, <laughs> so we'll, I mean, some people have asked me to do more, uh, like, uh, topic videos, which, yeah, I'll definitely do at some point, um, I guess more, some of these recorded stuff, I mean, this is a video recording, not an audio recording, but uh, the reason why you see nothing but black is because it's at night, it's currently like 8.47 p.m., and uh, I have a, a video on pause, but I just wanted to get a uh, update video out just, just to give you guys uh, just more detailed information of just what's going on. So that way I don't keep, you know, leaving uh, uh, community posts and to give you guys a bit more context because I feel like there, there, there was just a little bit more I had to explain uh, it's like 20, almost 20 minutes of a topic, but yeah, that's, that's just the way things have been developing lately, and I've just, like today, I woke up in a foul mood, like, that's also why I've not really been joining a lot of live streams, I mean, I mean, really be honest with me, everyone, would you be willing to talk to people when you're just not in your right state of mind? Not really. <laughs> so I apologize. I mean, I can even apologize right now to both uh, Big Mac Davis and uh, B Griffin. Uh, sorry I didn't join your live streams as of late, but I've. It's just been one of those. I mean, we all have them where we all have our breaking points, and this is mine. So right now, things have just been hectic and frustrating and I've been attempting to heal from my knee which which you know there's been progress but then there's been setbacks so it's been a roller coaster ride of emotions and pain and just frustration like even yesterday I was watching my main football team the Miami Dolphins and uh they let me down yet again by losing and now they're out of the playoffs which fucking sucks so, I mean, I have my second favorite team, the Bengals, but it's like, you know how it is, how you, you keep rooting for, your, fav for your, your favorite teams to win or to at least do something, but, but they don't. And you start to question the NFL after a while, like how is it that the same teams are always in the NFL you know, near, like, uh, the, why are they always at the playoffs? Why are they always at the Super Bowl? Like, like, if you, if it really was a competition, a fair competition, you think that the other teams would actually get better at some point? I mean, for God's sakes, the Miami Dolphins hasn't really been in the playoffs since 2016. And when was the last time that they even went to a Super Bowl, for, for Christ's sakes? I mean, if, if this really was a fair sport, then you would think that the Raiders would actually get better. And they would at least be winning a Super Bowl for once. Otherwise, like, if it's just the same teams winning every year or, or getting this close every every year, can you really call it a competition? You know, just, just a thought, just a playful thought. So... Not even football is keeping me enthusiastic, keeping me entertained. So... I've got video games, but, like, I don't really have a whole lot to play with in terms of consoles. Like, I got the 
SNES and PlayStation 1, but I don't have a whole lot of games at right now, so I'm looking into getting this year the N64, which I've taken way too long. I am looking to get a GameCube again. I'm looking to get an Xbox uh, OG, uh, both as a console and as a, uh, a modded console, because I really want to be able to play some uh, MAME games, especially for arcades. Uh, so, it's just a lot of dealing with repetitious patterns, trying to push for major change this year, dealing with the same issues, dealing with pain, and not knowing what to do, I mean, not, not having a whole lot of resources to deal with it, and, you know, I've also been having, struggling to sleep at night, so it's just, it's, it's a, re it's a cocktail of issues, let's call it that way, uh, that's probably the best way to describe it, really, is, is a cocktail of problems, <laughs> so, once again, I thank you all for your patience, for your support, and, uh, for, uh, keeping my channel alive, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't keep doing this stuff. <laughs> so, I deeply appreciate it. I hope you guys will continue your support. Uh, I will see what I can do about maybe some doing some logs. But in the meantime, I, I can, all I can suggest is, is you know, uh, please continue to be patient with me. Check out my older videos if you can. Uh, give them a like. <laughs> and uh i hope you go fo i hope you go folks <laughs> i hope you folks have a good week and uh and uh you know i i hope you folks have a better month than i did so this is epic jason speaking wishing you all a uh, good night and have yourselves a kick-ass day